Hey guys, Nikki here, and today I will be testing out the new Wedding Wow face products, okay? I have been seeing everyone hauling these items, and they are dirt cheap, so I went to three, I almost said three, but that's six, different Walgreens the other night, and let's just say I have something to say right off. Um, so let me just show you what I'm talking about. They came out with a whole entire display of um, cushion blushes, highlighters, lip products, and everything. But I got all of the face products, okay? So let me just go ahead and get the rant out the way because you guys know I always tell you guys the Okay, so first off, what and well brag on this foundation um, because it is available in 20 shades, I want to say. But I went to three different Walgreens and the deepest, deepest shade that I found in stores was Toffee. And when I say I went to three different Walgreens in three different type of neighborhoods because I thought they were zoning them per neighborhood like the more urban areas would have deeper colors. But actually when I went to the areas that were more urban they only had the there in the pale tone so I was a little bit confused um, but this is the deepest color that I found and they claim that this is a photo focus line meaning that it won't flash back on camera okay so the good thing about this is that it's only $5.99 and if it is good foundation that is a darn good price okay another good thing is if it work it's not going to flash back on photography but the only rent that I have and the problem that I have is why not make all the shades available like why if I'm deeper than this shade I have to go online to purchase like everybody don't have credit cards and like teenagers just want to be able to run into the drugstore and I think it's very inconvenient that if you're a deeper or a darker skin tone that you have to buy your color online I mean it's 2017 it's getting old it is getting irritating okay so anyway this is the deepest shade right here it is toffee and I thought that I can make this work by looking at it in stores but let me just show you it comes with this little spatula like thing on the end which I think is pretty good because you can just take it out and just swipe it on your face and so I thought that I would be able to make this work a little bit but no ma'am I will be really dry and ashy okay so I was gonna put this all over my face to test it but unfortunately unfortunately I can't because this is not my shade and I don't have my color so that kind of was like a waste of six dollars I'm glad it wasn't that much but what I was able to find, which is quite the coincidence, was the pressed powder in my color. And this is Cocoa right here. And it is the Goodbye Photo Flashback Powder. It says it's um, tested with smartphones with and without flash and under, under seven different type of lights, okay? So if this powder worked, that is awesome. So also on the line is the Wet n Wild Concealer, Photo Focus Concealer. It has the same claims and the concealer I got is in medium tunny. It will come in a box like this. And if this work, um, this is going to be good because this concealer was only $3.99. That powder was $5.99 also, I want to say. So it comes in a container like this and I can make this concealer work because I'm going to use it to brighten anyway. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test the foundation today because I don't have the shade. So I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation because it's just sitting right here. And I'm just going to apply that off camera and then I'll come back and we can test the concealer and the powder. So I just applied one layer of foundation. I know a lot of you guys already think I have on foundation when I like one one of my reviews somebody was saying how it might have worked if I didn't already have on foundation and I never start an experiment off with foundation I don't know why I would start experiment off with foundation um I'm sorry the good lord just blessed me with some great skin guys so don't throw shade on me I mean I have great skin so I have foundation on and so we're going to go in with the concealer and I think a uh, medium tawny. It is a little bit peachier than I would normally wear, but I'm going to make it work for the sake of this tutorial, okay? Um, crazy thing is I do not have a mirror, so I'll be right back. So you guys, I'm just going to put the concealer where I would normally put it. Um, my chin. Cupid's bow. 
And I don't know how fast it's dry, so I need to speed up my nose. I usually would do my forehead, but it's not showing, so I'm not going to even waste product. It has a good creamy consistency. kind of feels just like the NARS. Uh, is it Radiant Concealer? Is that what they call it? It's really thick. I thought it would be thinner than this. And yeah, this is way lighter than what I would normally use. But we're going to put my MUA skills to uh, work and see if I can make it work. So yeah, that's my biggest rant already is that. The stores don't really have the shades. I mean, if I just went to one store, I could say, okay, maybe. But I went to three different stores in the rain. So, yeah, it's not a coincidence that three stores didn't have my shades. So, I'm just going to speed this up. Oh yeah, this is really light. Let me add a little bit more of my foundation like around here and make it all blend. What I will say is the concealer has very good coverage. I mean, I think this one is too light for me, but it covers pretty well to be $3.99. But, you know, I have a favorite that's $1.99. <laughs> um, so I'm not too impressed by that, but I'll just show you by covering my tattoo. How well it covers so yeah if you guys can see that but it covers pretty well so what I'm gonna do is just set the concealer like I normally do and then I'm gonna go over it with the face powder and let you guys know my final um, thoughts on this okay guys so let's go on with the powder and I think if this powder work this will be my favorite thing in the collection because it really reminds me or puts me in the mind of Mac MSF this is probably close to the one in dark so I'm gonna just take a elf powder brush I love this brush from elf and I'm just gonna set my face and we're gonna do the flash test see this powder is almost perfect maybe I will get the foundation on long so I can thoroughly test it See how it's pulling my color back in my face? I'm going to get it all over my shirt. See how you can't even tell how peachy that concealer is, now how light it is, rather. Okay, you guys, so I have everything applied. I did the flash test with my camera. Everything looks okay. I can stand to be a little bit warmer, but I'm not like embarrassing ashy okay but the ultimate test is always with these camera phones honey so I'm gonna turn the camera on and let me turn the flash on and I wonder should I turn my lights down what you guys think I'm gonna take one like this hold up hold up oh, I'll take a picture okay let's see let's try this one more time Okay, let's see what this picture is looking like. Oh, it's pretty okay. I will insert it right here. So let me turn the lights down. Let's try that. Okay, as you guys can see, I have the lights down now. So let's try it now. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, wait a while. Okay, you guys, so I guess um, the claims are true about the flash part and the camera because the iPhone flash test will tell it all, you guys. So, oh, I guess this turned out to be pretty good, right? I would highly recommend this powder, and I would probably, girl, this powder is only five, six dollars. So, I'm highly impressed with that. 
And the concealer, I would recommend it too, but I would just go probably two shades deeper or get something that has a little bit more yellow in it, okay? And the foundation, I can't really talk about it. I just can say put more women of color shades in the store, okay? Um, because, Jesus, I really want this to be a full face review. But I can't even really tell. Let me try to do a little swatch it swatch on my hand and see how the coverage will be. It looks like it's um, medium coverage because that's what it's looking like over that tattoo. Look like it'll be a pretty good foundation too. So let me know if you guys want me to try to get my color online and do a thorough test of the foundation also. Because as of right now, that's all I can give you. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye.